Thank you. And our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Ian MacDonald, Senior Minister at Holy Trinity Church, Wester Hills, Edinburgh. Presiding officer, members, thank you for this opportunity to address you today. As you may know, one of the duties and indeed privileges of the Christian faith is to pray for leaders and those in authority. And I want to assure you that we, the Kirk, uh, pray for you regularly before the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I might add that we pray for you and not against you, despite what somebody might have told you. Thank you for your hard work and your service, particularly whenever you've de demonstrated compassion to the poorest in our communities. May I start with a question? What do the sewing machine, insulin treatment for diabetics, and the double helix structure of DNA have in common? The answer is, uh, they were all claimed to be revealed by a vision. And vision is something that is so important for the people of Scotland today. The Bible says that where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint, but happy are the people who keep the law. I believe there is a lawgiver a reason for the seemingly inexplicable fact of why the observable universe of vast solar systems and myriad galaxies of minutest quarks and gluons obey laws. Christians believe God has revealed himself as lawgiver, not only in the world around us, but also in scripture and the one to whom we must give account. Those laws on which our whole justice system is based are boundaries that protect us and applied in love, they add to the happiness of the people. It can feel exhilarating to throw off those laws for a moment. Perhaps for some in our society, it's felt exciting casting off the Judeo-Christian ethic that has cemented Western society for two, two millennia. But casting off all restraint does not free people, but leaves so many in our communities alone, addicted, and without purpose. I once watched a game of rugby union where a tackle came in with such force that the leg went back at the knee. It has to be imagined rather than described. And the TV cameras showed it from every single possible angle. That leg was completely free, but it was useless. It was never designed to be like that. I speak today to those entrusted with enacting laws that set the boundaries of freedom in Scotland today. But if our laws and freedoms are to bring happiness to our nation, for that, we need vision. Vision is not something you get after the pressing matters of the day are out the way. Vision never comes about by committee. And if the Church of Scotland and the Parliament have one thing in common, it may be committees. No, vision comes about when a man or a woman sees what could be. I've served in the people of Wester Hills for the past 13 years. We have a vision where loneliness and addiction and purposelessness are only spoken of in the past. It's a vision, I believe, that local churches in local communities are ideally placed to provide the answer to. And if myself or the community I serve lack vision, there is an ancient prayer that is available to all and even to members today. It was turned into a very famous, timeless hymn. It simply says, Be thou my vision. Thanks for listening. 